Well, how much do we like food? Well, we've got uh, Marcy and the wonderful folks at uh, Toppers to provide our volunteers with a lunch here on Inside Brant and, and food. Yeah, and I well, and I had food with Eric uh, uh, from the Brantford Club just on Monday. He's not here today, but I'm sure he'll be back. But I want to know, Ted, have you ever been food duped? Food duped. Yeah. Have you, you ever ate gotten... something that wasn't food? I've been nope. at my mother-in-law's. No, well, oh, well, that's a hey, whole Hey, this different... woman made food a four-letter word, trust me. Okay, okay, then. Yeah. But I'm talking about when... I mean, at her house, the flies get together and fix the homeless screen. I mean, but really. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that's terrible. Um, but have you ever gotten, say, an... Grease adver... is a flavor, i got to tell you. <laughs> you ever gotten an advertisement for coupons? I'm going to pick on McDonald's, why not? Um, and you've seen this picture of the Big Mac, and it's got, you know, like the thing, the burger's like this big, and it looks like absolute perfection and then you go in and you order it and you find that it's squished it's about that big and you know the whatever it just looks terrible right has this ever happened to you or even the menu have you ever gone to a restaurant looked at the picture of something in a menu and went wow that looks really good and then you get it and you're like is that what i ordered I can honestly say I like eating so much. I don't know. If it's you haven't been noticing it. Well, I don't know if I run into it. Well, or the other thing is, is you know, there are these sites out there like so Restaurant. You're telling me they're expanding the pictures, or they're no. They're, they're what I'm telling you about is a new service. Actually, it's been it's been out for a year actually, but it's called food spotting. Right. Okay, and what you do is you take your mobile device, say such as your iPhone. And instead of these restaurant review sites, because there's lots of those where people go and they rate a restaurant, you know, you could have a really crappy restaurant, but they might have one excellent dish. And so, do you know, do you decide like, hey, is, do I, you know, trash the whole restaurant? Do I not go? But maybe there's one dish that's really good. So what food spotting is all about is you actually take something like your iPhone here and you take it with you when you go out and you actually take a photo of the dish that you get when you order in the restaurant. And then you comment on it and you say, you know, this is the such and such and such at this location. It's all location based. So for example, the website, and you don't have to have a mobile device. You can look up foodspotting.com and look on the site and they have Brantford in there. And some of the things that they've got in here are the poutine at Admiral. Uh, sub downtown. <laughs> um, they've also got um, poutine. You know, never looks good to me. I don't care what you do. With well, it. see, but maybe you might want to know how they actually so serve this it. Is TMZ for food. Kind of. It's like you, you know, you go in, you take the photo, and you you send it to the site. So there's the site there, and it shows you these pictures. And these are dishes actually from Brantford. And so, for example, they've got the cut fries from Boston Pizza. It tells you about food that's close to you right now. So if you're away on a trip or something you can look on here and there there you go there's the poutine um that might look like something your mother made our mother-in-law made i don't know um but Ooh. you can decide there whether or not <laughs> you like it and you can give it a nom which is like you know nom 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 um you can if you actually go and have that dish and you can decide whether you want to vote it up so that other people you know can find out whether or not it's actually a good dish or this not. woman set her oven on fire making a turkey put the fire out, and then put the turkey back in and finished it. True story. Wow. Yeah, first time I ate there, my father-in-law-to-be had a giant jar of Rolaids. He put it in the middle of the table, and just true story. He said, after dinner, mint, Ted. So there's nothing I would have filmed there. I wonder how the turkey felt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I think I was the turkey as far as that went, you know. So wow. so you can literally, you become a food reviewer. Now, i gotta, I got to yep. believe in most cases, these are going to be positive reviews. Actually, that's the whole thing with foodspotting.com people tend to only complain when things are bad or do actions when things are bad food spotting is all about positive food right. experience we don't want to hear about you know whether you got something that was charbroiled and nasty and whatever this is all about a positive experience so that when you're looking for a place to go you know it, it's more than just looking for a restaurant to go to it's looking for a specific dish so for example there's you know some people have made it their mission to become an expert and if you actually rate the same type of food, I think it's more than five times, you can be considered an expert. So for example, I know people who used to go to all kinds of restaurants and try the nachos. And they would take a picture of the nachos because that's one of the things that can be very different based upon the restaurant that you go to. And so if you're, maybe you're in a particular city, maybe your own city, you're looking for who has the best nachos, go into food spotting, look up that food type and see what, and then you can see what it looks like. That's the key. You can actually see what it looks like to decide whether or not you want to order the dish because the pictures in the menu, the pictures on the coupons, and the advertisements are not necessarily real life. Well, no poutine for lunch, and, and thanks for coming in with that information today. We'll see you next week. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> oh, thank heavens. My mother-in-law lives out of the Rogers Brantford area. We're coming back on a Thursday. Folks from the SBCA are going to be here with a whole lot of other activity happening. So do join us once again, and thanks for being here and doing it inside Brand.